And we're getting some more breaking news at this point uh, that the Bangladesh Gulshan Cafe attacker Idris Ali might have just sneaked into India. This is the news that has come about and that the police in Kolkata are trying to zero in on one of the main links in that Dhaka terror attack. Bangladesh security agencies along with the police from West Bengal have been put on high alert. Uh, there is information and there could be a possibility of the main attacker now crossing the border and entering into India and thereby the Kolkata police, the West Bengal police especially are on high alert. Let's go straight across now to India. Today's Manogia Loewal for more details. Manogia, give us the very latest details. All the the latest is that he has been arrested. Mohammad Idris Ali was being zeroed in and tracked by Kolkata SPF. But now with his arrest, one thing is clear that he is perhaps the only suspect or the target suspect that has been arrested from any other country except Bangladesh. Remember, 1st July saw 17 foreigners and 3 Bangladeshis that uh, some, some, some came to a total of around 21, 22 people who had died in the attack. And now with this arrest, this also proved that he had sneaked into the Indian territory. The Kolkata SPF had been continuously on high alert. And with this arrest, this has been proven that he was in touch with his people in Bangladesh. The phone calls were intercepted. Then there were more details that were taken with the uh, fact that he had been actively involved in Jamaatul Bujahideen Bangladesh. Hmm. The arrest has been made by Kolkata SCF and th there has been active involvement of the Delhi special cell also. So you mm -hmm. can get an idea on how many security forces were overall involved in this arrest. And finally, the arrest comes as a big achievement for the forces in the Gulshan Cafe attack case. Oh, yes, indeed. Absolutely, Manogia. That's a big news that you've just broken. Uh, just how uh, Idris Ali ha now has been arrested. He is in police custody. It's a huge achievement uh, by the security forces. Give us more details as to just how uh, did the security get, uh, uh, you know, intelligence information that he might have entered into India. Where did the arrest take place? And uh, more details related to his arrest. Well, my sources have confirmed he was arrested from the business district that is somewhere around Bara Bazaar and the Girish Avenue area mm -hmm. where he was hiding. He was uh, also working in some kind of uh, fake identity possible as uh, one of those people who had come from other countries and then he started because of taking the advantage of being of uh, the same culture and hailing from a certain religion. Mm -hmm. He had the advantage of speaking the same language as is spoken in Bengal. Yes. That came to him as an advantage, but the language barrier and there were other factors that did uh, were identified by a lot of people. There were trip off not only from the RAB in Bangladesh, but also from the Delhi special cell here in India. Delhi special cell had tipped off Kolkata SCA, which actively worked on it. And they did arrest it. So this comes as a big arrest, not only with the fact that he is the ninth arrest in the case because eight people have been arrested till now. Mm -hmm. More than three to five have been gunned down already in various encounters at various places. So one of the most heinous crimes that South Asia has seen, especially Bangladesh, where homegrown terror had taken lives of 22 people and left the entire country as well as the world in a state of shock. Absolutely. In fact, the Bangladeshi police had even shot dead two Islamist militants. But this arrest, Manogia, comes as a shot in the arm for both the countries, isn't it? Uh, for Bangladesh and for India as well, because he, uh, he, with his arrest, he could also blow the lid off other possible terror attacks that uh, terrorists on both the sides are perhaps planning. Well, Avantika, extremely rightly put, I would say, because UP has seen just a trailer of what could have been happening of self-radicalized people relating to ISIS. Absolutely. JMB, however, has been a homegrown militant uh, extremism in which Bangladesh has been witnessing. It has created a lot of problems for the country and has earned a lot of disrespect as well as defame for the country and the nation in South Asia also. Despite the involvement of JMB people and JMB militants into it, this comes as a big achievement. Remember, cross-border terrorism and India-Bangladesh have been in a very good relationship. We are friendly neighbors, unlike other neighbors, where we do not share very good rapport with the neighboring country. Any kind of help extended by Bangladesh and any kind of help extended by India is always looked up to and looked upon as something that is normally expected. Yes. Now, this again help has been extended that would be looked up to as one of the big achievements for both the countries in, in their way and uh, the efforts to tackle terrorism and the fact that even the Prime Minister of Bangladesh is expected to visit uh, India in April. This would be of course a feather in the cap for the country of the right. kind of extended help 
that we've seen in both the countries. All right. Uh, 2016 Dhaka attacker finally arrested in India. Manogya Loewal, thank you so much for joining us and getting us all the details related to that big arrest by the Indian security forces. Moving on now, a day after Digvijay Singh's comments on the recent Lucknow encounter, a political war still continues. Congress, in fact, has been questioning the timing of the Lucknow terror siege and even lashed out at the Prime Minister. In fact, the senior Congress leader quoted controversy after he said that the Prime Minister kept going to Uttar Pradesh talked about the Prime Minister's multiple visits to Varanasi and yet there was such a huge intelligence failure. Now the BJP has hit back at the opposition, slamming the Congress for what they claim is a politicization of an issue related to the national security.